Okay, now it's Mama Duke's turn for her surgery. I just dropped her off at the same place. They're doing implants and bone grafts and all this fun stuff. All in the family type of shit this week for dental care, America style. Um, gonna make a quick stop, maybe get an iced coffee, and then head back home and uh, see if the uh, things arrive. Not much else to do today other than that. Uh, once mom's surgery is done, they'll give me a call. I'll have to go pick her up and stop and get her medications. And that's about it. You know, not much going on big, big, big time today. But it'd be cool to see what the bench sets up like and uh, all that fun stuff. All right. See you later. There we go. We got our power supply in the front. That's cool. Needs to be torqued and tweaked. It's still not solid yet, but I know I gotta get into it. Yeah, it's gonna do it real nice. Real nice. All right, cool. We'll get it all tweaked up, set. The other part's on the way. That's coming from UPS, I think. That would be the 48-inch uh, green pegboard with all the accessories. Once we get all this dialed in and checked. All right, we'll have to drill. The vice will probably, well, let's see. Because we got this edge here, so we're gonna have to that beam's about two and a half inches wide. So you'd have to be in at least two and a half inches to drill the holes, which puts it around this area. So two and a half inches in the corner. In, we put a device right about, yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, so we'll drill here. This will be mounted up, and uh, once this is secured properly, it has the vise. I may even throw a few sandbags on the on the on each leg to weigh it down even further, or something along those lines. I think the idea of the whole magnetic and a piece of steel is it not a bad one. I might look into that. We'll see. But let's get it all leveled out. It might not be needed. And the only other alternative to that is to drill the floor, drill those beams through, get some long bolts, and just fucking hammer it into the ground with some uh, washers and some thick bolts. I have the right drill for it. We can drill that fucker and just drill it down. And then it's going nowhere. Where are you going? Nowhere. Cool. Oh my, ow, fuck. I did not just do that. I went to put the table on its back again. 
to try to extend the uh, height, and I, I kind of did it in front of it, pushing it down. And I had my, uh, I was just like, kind of slowly scooting, but the thing, uh, I lost my grip, and I happened to have my right foot extended just enough, and the whole fucking steel beam crashed right on the top of my right foot. Full fucking weight. Ow. I hope I don't have anything broken. It fucking, you know, it's killing me. And I have to hit the gas with it. Son of a bitch. Ow. Oh. Oh, that hurts. And uh, now we come to the cringe portion of the video. Uh, perfect storm kind of situation happened. I'll do some editing on this. I don't know what part you're going to see. You're going to see the, me bringing it in and all that. Uh, so basically, today's the day I dropped my mother off to have a bunch of surgery done on her teeth. Uh, bone grafts and like implants and all that shit, right? So I dropped her off, came back. <laughs> I unloaded this, got her there. And then I had to, I was on the phone, had to get her meds and go pick up her meds. And then when she was done surgery, go pick her up and bring her back. So I'm like, cool. So I had time to kill, you know? So I was like, I come back out and I was like, you know what? Let's put this on its back. Let's adjust the height. Let's tweak it. It's missing a bolt, by the way. I got to find a bolt. There's one missing. So I'm like, okay, let me lay it on its back. So I come up here like this and I kind of pull it out a bit and, tr and try to gently lay it down. But I didn't want to scratch the wood down the wall, right? So I'm grabbing it like this with both hands. And of course, that's slippery, right? And for some reason, I had my right foot far forward. I should have been back here. But like an idiot, I wasn't paying attention. And it got to like, I don't know, that high off the ground. My, I went to lean forward to like put my weight forward. This slips, the entire weight of it drops right in the center of my foot. I thought I broke my fucking foot. So I'm like oh, wailing around the house. Like, oh my fucking God, I think I broke my foot. Oh my God, the pain was unreal. Five minutes later, I have to lock up and go down and try to go stand in line to get her, her medication. So I say, like, I take two a leave, lock the doors, jump in the truck, well, hobble into the truck. And of course, it's my right foot. So every time I touch the gas or the brake, it feels like I have a broken foot. So I'm in serious pain all the way down to the Walgreens. I finally get the pills. I go, I go, I go pick her up. I hobble out to get her and get her in the truck, drive all the way home. I just iced it down. It's starting to get a little better. I don't think I broke anything. It felt broken, I'll tell you. I mean, it's starting to look a little better. It's a little banged up. Just the full weight of this just fell like okay, three and a half feet dead on to the center of the foot. So I'm like, fuck, that's a, that's a heavy table. I'm like, should I have to, did I break my foot? Anyway, yeah, of course, sometimes I want to kick my own ass. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Physics is hard, apparently. I don't know how, the best way to go, I guess, off to the side kind of angle it down and if it's gonna fall let it fall fuck it you know a few scratches isn't worth your fucking foot breaking like an idiot however table seems nice <laughs> i gotta get it tweaked in the height set it is missing one nut see this guy this is missing that washer that was in the box it's missing its corresponding nut i'll see if i have one that matches the size if not worst case you know it's a, it's a trip to Home Depot in a five ten cent part. It's not that big a deal. Uh, I will say that overall, I'm surprised this feels less substantial than the one that's a hundred bucks cheaper in the other room. It does. Maybe once it's all put together. But the other one feels like it's a lot much heavier table. So I don't know why this is slated as heavy duty steel welded. I mean, I see this all snaps up into one piece. Maybe you're paying for the ability to stow it away easy. It's a solid table, don't get me wrong, it's 300 pounds, but, um, you know. Anyway, we'll get this straightened out. I can't believe I did that to my foot. M Murphy's Law moment, too. Just as I'm about to, I have to go drive, I have to go get my mom, I have to get her pills. And I'm, every stoplight was torture. I'm like, oh my god, I think I broke my foot. Oh my, I think I have to go to the... <laughs> Jake fucking America, dude. You know, it's like, what the fuck? Sometimes I want to kick my own ass. I'm like... You gotta think these things through, buddy. I need to get a pair of decent boots. These sneakers ain't shit working around myself, you know? I have to protect myself from myself. Jake America. But overall, overall, uh, all said and done, it'll be a good solid table. A nice addition to the room. A good stable platform for the new vice. And uh, glad it's here.
So there you go. Full transparency. Doesn't get any more transparent than that. Almost broke my damn foot because I'm a spaz Asperger's clown. <sighs> Jake America.